So I'm just sitting here editing this video, and I realize that there's no D in productions. So uh, I'm clearly dumb or blind or stupid, stupid, stupid. So now I'm sitting here. So now I'm talking about me talking about the video. I've just realized that it's all completely butchered the spelling of productions. Jesus Christ, I can't spell. All my brain doesn't work. I'm sorry. Just deal with it. <clears throat> so you're just going to need to ignore that. So now after that cool intro, I'm going to have to explain myself. <clears throat> Stupid. So, now that I'm editing this video that you're watching right now, I realized that I didn't do an intro, so I'm a dumb, so I'm explaining it now. Basically, this video is going to be about how I'm going to be changing those shelves into a sofa, and that this is the first video in the making of that sofa. So I'm going to make like a series, so this is episode one. So it's going to have like time lapses of me making it in 3D SketchUp modeling software. So I'm planning to do like four videos, five videos, I don't really know. So it should be a pretty cool video series because I never do stuff that I actually, well, more than one thing that I like to do on my channel because I've only done scooter on my channel. And I, believe it or not, love to make things like, I made this thing. It's got Rex face on it, but let's just get the lights. Wow. So this thing, it's like a planter. It's got Rick's face on it. I love Rick and Morty. Rick and Morty is the best. Yeah, I put that up in before, you know, you'll see. So, enjoy the video. So, this is basically my room. I've got a massive lamp in the middle. This is where I'm sitting right now. This is where I'm currently recording. And, you uh, know, right down there, and it's unfocused. So, basically, what I'm gonna be doing, and I'm gonna be making a sofa and some shelves here. And I'm gonna make a video about it. Because I can, and it should be cool. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I'm gonna show you guys my room because um, this is where most of the buildings are gonna be happening. Um, I'm gonna make a massive corner sofa here. I'm gonna make like a uh, storage unit place for clothes here. So, basically, replacing this wardrobe because it's falling apart. Um, I'm gonna put some like shelves basically where these are, but like all the way along there um, and like a tower of many ones like just there I'm gonna try to um, put some cool LEDs like like these these are like really white ones I've got some in the computer too next to Rick and Morty um, go follow them on Instagram I'm gonna put some like LEDs under the sofa and under the like I'm just gonna make my room really, really cool and when the sofa's here I'm gonna make like a this is a script. I'm gonna make like a massive square here that I can just go ahead and pull down and obviously this is gonna be like hidden away under the, the sofa and I'm just gonna be able to like take it out, put it on and then like pull it down and then I'm gonna have a projector like right there and then it's just gonna like, you know, then I'm gonna have like, gonna have like an Xbox here and then it'll, you know, this is gonna be like a mint game room. So, yeah, I'm gonna make a 3D model of it on SketchUp, and uh, you guys will see. So I've got a, like I've got a feeling that this is gonna be a longer kind of video. Um, so I figured I'm gonna answer some Instagram questions because why not? I'll just put it in. Wait a minute, this corner of the video. So. Liam Hamlison, so uh, what advice would you give to a beginner? Uh, don't stop riding, like if you can't land the trick, like don't bum yourself over, like don't, like, don't, like, don't give up because if you can't land the trick, I mean, you'll just can't get over it eventually and learn it and then become pro and, you know, do stuff that's like good. Um, next person. Quincy Hull, how many decks have you snapped? Uh, I probably should have thought of that before I pressed the record button, but... The... Um, blunt deck, the paint splattered one that I had. 
sacrifice, sacrifice, two sacrifice flights, um, an MGP V6, I believe, I think, or like an MFX, that, um, with one ethic artifact deck. It's five. I think that's five. I don't know about five decks. It's quite a few. Harry Lin. I don't know. That's just how he's. L Y N N the score and then it's some numbers. Shout out to you because you asked a question. Um, sacrifice Ape MGP. Sacrifice MGP or Apex. Um, not sacrifice. Obvious reasons. Um. MGP, I really like the arrow bars, I like the MFX decks. Um, I'm not too keen on the forks because I had a pair for like two weeks. Um, good forks before they snapped. And I've never had a pair of Apex anything, so because it's really expensive and I can afford that kind of gear. So, next question Charlie CPPA, why? I, I don't know how to say that. It could be Cappy, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, would you rather get sponsored by Lucky or MGP? MGP, by far, because MGP have been really stepping up the game recently, so... MGP, because... Because Jordan Clark is on their team now. That's a cool thing. Plus, I'm not good enough to be on MGP. So definitely MGP, if I could choose. Harrison Well, favourite skate park? Um, I've been to quite a few, like, not as many as other people have, but... I mean, Dynamics is really good because it's just around the corner from my house. Um, probably shouldn't have said that because, you know, stalkers. Um, Rampworks is really good. It's I'm focused. Focus. Uh, yeah, Rampworks is really good. I was there with uh, Joe Pryor. I'll put his Instagram here because you got to give man a shout out in it. Um, um, Rock City, Rock City is really good. Rock City is really good actually. Um, just it's kind of a mission to get there because you got to get two trains and then ride for like 10 minutes. It's not that bad, but Rock City is really good. Shout out to them. I'm going to do more hand gestures because I think I'm more entertaining. Stop judging us. See how they did again, bam. Someone said that I look like a bitchy potato in the picture, which I agree. If you're watching this video, I agree. I look like a bitchy potato. Yeah, there's like compared questions, so I'm just gonna like compare them. So, not compare, like. Would you rather questions? So, I'm gonna answer some now. Kickless or Whip Rewind? Kickless if it's a box, but then if it's flat or into a bank or out of a bank. Whip Rewind. Because I can whip around flat. You know, it's a cool trick. It just kind of hurts your heels a lot. Inward or bry? Bry air, inward straight. Back flip or front flip? If it's a bank, a front flip. If it's a box or fly out, back flip. Kai Redshaw, um, how long have you been riding for? I've been riding for like three years, but only actually like properly for the last two and I've been working at well volunteering at Dynamics for like a uh, year and a bit year and a bit longer probably longer but time flies so yeah uh, I don't know if I already answered this question but um, Rohan Tahim uh, who's your inspiration um, I don't know, I remember watching like some of the really old video, like scooter videos on YouTube. So like Jed Adams and Dill Morrison and Jesse Bays, they were like really influencers to like start riding scooters. Uh, Terry Price was one of my inspirations. I met him at time, he's a really cool guy. Um, yeah, that's about all good questions because the rest of them are answered in the Q&A which I did in, like, in the description. Um, yeah, just enjoy the rest of the video, I guess, if I don't figure out what else to do. So, I should be making my room, well, this bed right now, so, 
enjoy. This is a seven minute long video. Nice one. This is gonna take up so much storage with my camera. Nice, I have about 64 gigabyte, gig, gigabytes though, so no worries. Woo! Almost fell. These videos, like these making videos, I don't know if they're gonna be consistent because it's kind of consistent of hard to make something consistent because I'm me and I'm not consistent and you guys know that. So I don't know how consistent this series is gonna be. It's just like whenever I make a bit of progress, post. So yeah, enjoy the video again, also again. I've also just finished a whole list of pop vinyls which I need to buy for that wall right there when I've got like loads of like shelves and the shelves that I make up the end and the projector and then the Xbox and then my hands really focused Jeez. yeah so there's over 37 pop vinyls which I need to collect and that's a lot of money if that that's a lot of money um outro